disabled sports USA, more than 60,000 children, adults, and wounded warriors have had the opportunity to experience community and somewhat extreme sports and independence. And here locally, Spark helps those in our community experience those same thrills. Today, more than 40 people had the chance to do all of those extreme sports out in Saudi Daisy. Here, they explain in their own words what the day meant to them. That was a blast. I had so much fun. It is, um, it's just an awesome ride. It's something I get to do once a year. And this is just a great opportunity for people with all kinds of disabilities to get out and experience something that most people can just go into. I came out to um, try a few uh, sports that I had never um, attempted since my injury and um, things that I didn't really consider to be possible. We, we want to be independent like everybody else and, um, and, and this helps add that uh, back to our daily lives. We've been involved with this for um, over 20 years. I uh, took the first skier out. Oh, to see the skiers. I mean, just to watch the smile on their face and the fun they have. And once you volunteer one time, your hooks will never stop. Somebody get the back of the skiers. <laughs> <laughs> one skier I done uh, snow skiing in Boone, North Carolina. The widest skiers out there. This gives Emily an opportunity to do something she would never get to do. There is no way on our own that we could ever take her water skiing. What a joy that we get to live in a community that cares about children and people who have disabilities or other things in their life of being handicapped. So Chattanooga, we say thank you for caring about the disabled and caring about those who are handicapped because it, it makes a difference for us and our families for what you do for us. Now the next event hosted by Spark will be an adaptive cycling clinic and it'll be for children aged 3 to 19 and their parents. The clinic is designed to teach them the basics of adapted cycling. Lauren.